Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to compare FreeCAD on a Raspbian Pi 4 and 5. I'm using the current Raspbian Pi OS based on Debian Bookworm. The Raspbian Pi 4 and 5 have default settings. I didn't overclock them. The Pi 4 has a fan that is always running at 3 volts. The Pi 5 uses the official case with the fan. You can see in the taskbar on the right hand side the workload of the CPU, the CPU temperature and the workload of the GPU. Maybe you wonder about the low CPU temperature. It's so low since my room has only a temperature of about 15 degrees Celsius today. You can install FreeCAD using the Raspbian Pi repository or download it from the FreeCAD homepage. Search in the repository for FreeCAD you will find sadly only an older version. You can install it by clicking apply and OK. As soon as it is installed, you will find it in the menu under graphics FreeCAD. The second variant to install it is using the latest download from the FreeCAD homepage. You can find the binary in the downloads tab. It is called Arch64 App Image. After downloading it, you must go into your downloads folder. Right click on the file name, select the tab permissions and allow the execution of the file. Sadly, even with the allowed execution, it still won't execute since it can't read the compressed file. You must install Fuse from the repository. As soon as Fuse is installed, you will be able to execute the FreeCAD app image. For the test, I am using two benchmark files from the user Markin Oath. You can find his document in the FreeCAD forum. There are two download links in his file. Let's have a look at the Pi 4. First, I started an official sample file. As you can see, I can move it very quickly. The CPU workload is less than 20% and the GPU workload is around 60%. FreeCAD is a single core application, but the Pi has four cores. So as soon as the CPU workload is around 25%, FreeCAD is limited by the CPU. The sample with the panel is already a bit slow. You can see it isn't as smooth as the first example, but ok. The second example is very slow. I guess maybe one frame per second. The GPU is normally not used at the moment, but one core has a full workload. So it is limited by the slow CPU. Now let's have a look at the Pi 5. The first example runs pretty fast. Maybe it looks a bit laggy sometimes, but the core isn't fully loaded, so I think this is fine. The second example loads in less than the half time and it runs much faster than on the Pi 4. Of course it's not perfect, but it is more than one frame per second as it was on the Pi 4. It's hard to measure, but you can work with the larger files on the Pi 5 now. So have fun with your Pi 5 and FreeCAD. Design some cool stuff and maybe print it with a 3D printer. That's it for today. Let me know if you want to see more detailed other benchmarks. Have a nice day.